revealing all behind Juan Carlos Labajo. Juan Carlos Labajo, born February 5, 2001, is a Filipino singer, musician, and actor. Personal Life On May 30, 2017, Labajo, age 16, was in a relationship with actress and model Maureen Robowitz, then age 20, until they broke up on June 10, 2022. Early Life Labajo was born on February 5, 2001, and raised in Consolation, Cebu by his mother, Melinda Labajo. His German father left them when he was still a baby. His mother died when he was 12 years old, on November 17, 2013. He now lives with his uncle Giovanni and grandmother Linda in Metro Manila. Growing up, Labajo experienced bullying, especially in school. The bullies, who usually acted in groups, teased and punched him because of his looks. Although his Caucasian appearance gave the impression that his family was well off, they were actually in debt and were forced to move off in. To help out, Labajo collected and sold junk that he later revealed that at the time he made the semifinals of The Voice Kids, his grandmother asked for financial support from Cebu Governor Hilario Davide III. Although the amount was only 100 Cuban pesos, he was still grateful for the governor's support. Labajo rose to fame at age 13 when he finished third in the first season, 2014, of The Voice Kids. He is the frontman and primary songwriter of his namesake band Juan Carlos. He has since released two studio albums as a solo artist and two studio albums with his band. As an actor, he had supporting roles in the ABS-CBN television series Hawak Kamei, 2014, Pengako Sayo, 2015-16, A Love to Last, 2017, and Senior High, 2023-24. He was also a celebrity housemate in the reality show Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky 7, 2016. In film, Labajo was nominated for the Gawadurian Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Blue Room, 2022, but he also portrayed Senator Ninoy Aquino in the musical biopic AKOSI Ninoy, 2023. Career 2014, The Voice Kids Breakthrough Labajo performed his own rendition of Adam Sandler's song, Grow Old With You, for ABS-CBN's The Voice Kids Season 1 Blind Editions, which was broadcast on June 7, 2014. Coaches Sarah Geronimo and Bamboo Manilak both pressed their buttons to choose him for their teams. Geronimo praised his storytelling. The double selection gave Labajo the choice of coaches. Although Geronimo invited him to be a guest star at her upcoming concert, he picked Manilak. His new coach called him the funniest kid I have ever met. Labajo advanced to the four-person finals after singing Sway during the live semi-finals held at the Newport Performing Arts Theatre in Resorts World Manila. From the public votes, he received the third-highest total of the semi-finalists, after Laika Garanod and Darren Espanto. During the first and second rounds of the finals, Labajo performed Yesterday and Runaway Baby by The Beatles and Bruno Mars, respectively. Coach Lea Salonga said, You have the looks, the charm, and the heart. With those three, you're guaranteed a future in this business. Manilak gave him a similar comment, I see a singer, an artist, and possibly an actor. I see someone who has the charisma to do it all. 14. For the final round in the finals, Labajo sang a duet with Gary Valenciano, the upbeat song Ido Nanaman. At the end of the competition, he once again came in third from the voting. After the season of The Voice Kids, Philippines Labajo, along with his other three co-finalists in The Voice Kids, officially became a part of Star Magic, ABS-CBN's training and management center. Labajo's first project as part of Star Magic was in ABS-CBN's family drama series Hawak Kamei. A preview on August 15, 2014, showed him with the show's cast. His fellow The Voice Kids finalist, Laika Garanad, joined him in the cast on August 22. He has also appeared in the drama anthology series Malala Emokaya playing himself for his own life story. 2015, Pengako Sayo and debut album. To continue Labajo's acting career he played as Nico in ABS-CBN's TV series Apaglaban Emo, Sadilo Ingdan episode last May 9, 2015. 
Labaho is also cast in Pengako Sayo and plays the role of Amboy Mabido, one of Ina's friends, and is the brother of Egoi slash Jonathan Mabido, Gray Fernandez. At auditions for a church play, Josephine the Dreamer Amboy is filled with awe as he sees the beautiful Lia Buena Vista daughter of Governor Buena Vista known to Amboy as Lia B. At the auditions when it is time for Lia to try out, Amboy Lovestruck as usual interrupts constantly to tell the judges to give the part. Although Amboy thinks Lia sings beautifully, but she does not get the part. Later on Lia tries again for a second time and both Amboy and Egoe are there. As they watch the auditions Egoe innocently falls in love, but tries to resist knowing how much his brother loves her. Egoe and Amboy's contributions to the storyline of the show will start to intertwine as the series continues. In August 2015, Labaho released his debut album, JK. It has a total of eight songs, including a special band version of Parasayo and an acoustic version of This Gravity. Dika Man Lang Nagpalam is a special song on the album because JK dedicates it to his late mother. In October, he was the MYX Celebrity VJ for the month of October, which was his first time. 2016, We Love OPM, The Celebrity Singoffs and Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky Seven. In May 2016, Labaho was one of the contestants in the Filipino reality music competition show We Love OPM The Celebrity Sing-Offs on ABS-CBN which was aired from May 14, 2016 to July 17, 2016. His other co-teammates were the Voice Kids Season 2 finalist Kyla Carey and PBB 73017's finalist Bailey May. Their celebrity team's name was supposedly Poon and Fork, Labaho jokingly suggested to their mentor Richard Poon, but Poon declined Labaho's witty suggestion. And so, the three decided that their celebrity team's name would be Voice Next Door. They performed the song Sa Kanya popularized by Martin Ivera, Pengarab Nabichuan by Sharon Kinida, Lalaki by Hajibis, Pano by Gary Valenciano, Kanteo y Magicaleo by Ray Valera with the All My Girls Celebra team which consists of Alexa Ilacad, Ilona Garcia, and Chris Chavage, Macho Guapito by Rico J. Puno, Sayang Na Sayang by Aegis, Wag Kung Pabibi by Vice Ganda, and Blue Jeans by APO Hiking Society. Labaho wasn't present in some episodes due to fever or for having another schedule during the taping of those episodes. From week 9 of the show until the semi-finals, Labaho was permanently absent due to his competition in Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky 7 in Vietnam and in the Philippines. And so his co-teammates Kyla Carey and Bailey May were the only ones left in the group. The voice next door was eliminated in the semi-finals of the show. After, Labaho with Andrea Briantes and the other Capamilia Teen Stars production in ASAP last July 3, 2016, Roby Domingo and Tony Gonzaga announced that he will be joining the new Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky 7. Labaho shared some of his expectations and said that he is excited to be part of the reality show. On day zero, he, Yassi Pressman, Jean Ree Park, McCoy de Leon, and Nico Natividad were introduced as the first five celebrity housemates. They were flown from Manila to Vietnam, becoming the show's first time out of the country experience. Although, Jean Ri, JK, and Hideo were the only ones left due to their visa and immigration conflict. On day two, the three were finally able to arrive in Vietnam after the immigration and visa issue. In that morning, they were chained and blindfolded inside the living room in the Big Brother Vietnam house, making the housemates to unchain them within 30 minutes. Luckily, they were successful with their task. On day 19, Labaho came back to the PBB house, since the girl housemates were able to guess him while they were blindfolded. During their second lucky task, which was to come up with a water puppet show, Labaho suggested something but Nanong and Cha Cha didn't approve to his suggestion, making him feel ignored. Labaho later on went to the confession room to have some advice from Kuya. He cried for a little inside the confession room because he felt like he didn't have any worth since he was the youngest among the celebrity housemates. Kuya told him to be more open to his housemates since they were his second family. Nanong and Cha Cha suspected that he wasn't feeling okay and so they asked him what was wrong. Labaho didn't say anything about it and both Nanong and Cha Cha gave him the offer to control the puppets but he refused and stuck with playing the guitar for the music of their water puppet show. After their successful task, the three of them talked again until Labaho admitted that he was feeling ignored with his suggestions by them. Also, he followed Kuya's advice to be open to them. 
On July 15th episode of the show, Kriya asked Labaho in the confession room about his personal life. He then shared about his past in Cebu, how hard it was for him and how he felt about it. After Kriya asking him about his mother, he teared up and told Kriya how regretful he was because he wasn't able to spend much time with his mother like how others' kids do with theirs. He also shared that he was present during his mother's death. Kriya told him that his mother is very proud of him, regardless of wherever she is. Kriya also told him that he has come far from where he was and that he will experience more as he grows older so that he should live his life as a child since he still is. During the Celebrity Housemates Big Jump Challenge, Labaho's helper for that challenge was his younger half-brother Louis Stefan Labaho, who made him shock when he first saw him after many months. After the Big Jump Challenge, Labaho was in the confession room. Kuya asked how his relationship with his brother was, and he told him that it was a neighborly type. He admitted that he was jealous of his mother's second family since his mother spent more of her time with her family rather than with him. He also mentioned that he and his two younger half-brothers weren't close, making him say that he always wanted a sibling. Although mentioned earlier, he wasn't close with them. He cried, but Kuya told him that he's still young and he has the ability to spend his time with his brothers because dreams can be reached. 30. Labaho was unable to pass the big jump challenge, making him be evicted along with Nanan, Elise, Yassi, and Hideo on day 23. Moreover, on day 32, which was the PBB Lucky 17 edition, he guested during the Swirteen Ball, surprising Viveri Esclito, one of the housemates who didn't have a partner that time. He was asked by Kuya to play Viveri's own song composition, which he did. 2017, A Love to Last, sophomore album and film debut. From the first day of January up until the 28th, Labaho served as the MYX Celebrity VJ for the month of January, his second time wherein his first was last October 2015. On January 9, 2017, ABS-CBN's A Love to Last premiered nationwide on television, making his first appearance on the first episode playing the role of Lucas Noble, the son of Anton Noble IV and Grace Silverio Noble. On January 16th, MCA Music announced on their social media accounts that his first-ever major solo concert and birthday concert entitled JKL Live was postponed indefinitely due to unforeseen circumstances. Last February 6, 2017, Labaho's second album entitled JKL was released in selected Astro Plus and Astro Vision stores. His album consists of eight tracks with his three own compositions entitled Demonio, Forever a Wedding Song, and Move On, which he composed when he was still in PBB. It also comes up with an EDM-like version. This February 13, his first-ever movie appearance was in the movie premiere of Hovind Tan's indie film Tat Long Vibe along with his former contestant in the Voice Kids Philippines, Laika Garanad, Marco Massa, Reiko Mateo, and others. He is the grandson of Eddie Garcia in the movie and is paired up with Charlene San Pedro. The film's opening nationwide was on March 1st. As Lucas Noble in A Love to Last, bashing from the viewers leads his way to improvement in acting. The people on set, I ask them, is it okay Naganito or Baka Masaira AKO or whatever? Tapo Sabi Nila, it's actually great Kasi effective Doyang acting KO. Sabi Nila, I should be proud Kasi Napapekshin on MGA Tao, he said in an interview just recently. I am flattered Kasi for me, I am not good enough so I really feel happy when people compliment me with all those really amazing stuff. Pero actually walla pa kind acting workshops so I am really planning on doing some acting workshop Kasi, I really feel I need it, he said. JK mentioned that a love to last was his biggest break so far, and that he's blessed to be working with actors who are much more advanced than he is such as Ian Veneration who plays as his father in the show, Isaiah Calzado who is his mother that betrayed him, and B. Alonso as Andrea Agoncillo, the fiancé of Anton. 2018, present, Juan Carlos. Main article, Juan Carlos. In 2018, JK revealed that he is forming a band named after him. He released his most popular song, Buin, Moon in English, in June 2018, and it is a soulful alternative rock song. Influences Labaho stated that he wanted to have a career in the entertainment industry since he was very young because he wanted to leave a mark in the world. He was also influenced by his late mother, who hoped he would win a television singing contest. 
Recently, he's been sharing both in interviews and social media that some of his inspirations in his career are Daniel Day-Lewis, Joel Torrey, and some other known jazz artists like Django Reinhardt and Bill Evans. He is also an aspiring photographer.